For a long-lasting repair, concrete lifting materials should be water resistant. Let's look at the difference between polyurethane and mud. A customer had a little problem with a slab that he hired a local mud jacking company to fix. The interesting thing that I saw about this was all of their material pumped out the front of this slab. The material, as you can see, is not real strong. We're gonna go ahead and get a sample of this and we're gonna take it back to our shop and do some testing. Erosion is one of the top reasons concrete drops or sinks. So what's the best material to raise concrete and help prevent it from dropping again? Polyurethane or mud jacking mud? In a controlled environment, we're going to test the effect of water erosion on equal parts of polyurethane and mud jacking mud. Using mud jacking material collected from the mud jacker's work site, we formed a cube and allowed it to fully dry for maximum strength. Mud jacking mud takes 24 to 48 hours to fully cure. To ensure a fair comparison, we selected a same sized cube of fully cured polyurethane. Polyurethane takes about a half an hour to cure. We have here two water filter housings filled with sand and pea gravel. Now we'll add the cube of polyurethane to one housing and the cube of mud jacking mud to the other. Next, we'll test the water erosion effects on both materials at the same time under the same conditions by adding water. Since leveling materials are injected underneath concrete, we've placed a piece of concrete on top of each cube of material. This will simulate a realistic environment for testing. The filter housings have been connected to a common water supply. Now we'll turn on the water and film the effects water has on polyurethane and mud jacking mud. We'll be switching to a time lapse mode to speed things up a bit. Okay, now we're going to take these filters apart and take a look at what's left inside. This filter has the polyurethane. And you can see it is fine. It is the same condition it was before we started this test. Now for the mud. As you can see, the mud degraded and it plugged up all of the gravel and sand beneath it, not allowing any water drainage at all. That's what's left of our mud sample. There's just nothing left of it. We conducted a demonstration showing how mud jacking mud and polyurethane hold up to water. During our demonstration, we found that mud jacking mud doesn't hold up at all. The mud is just that, it's mud, and mud washes away quickly when introduced to water. Mud jacking mud is not water resistant. Polyurethane, on the other hand, is water resistant and will not erode like mud. Water will not penetrate or break down polyurethane. So what about that failed mud jacking job? As shown earlier, a mud jacker tried to fix this customer's stoop. Their mud jacking material literally pumped out the front. Acme Concrete properly fixed the stoop using long lasting polyurethane. We use commercial grade polyurethane on every job we do. Acme succeeds where concrete fails.